Well, hello. So it's a new year. And as we set our goals for 2020 in this video, we're going to get inspired by three rideshare drivers who have absolutely crushed it uh, pursuing their plan B. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I think are two reasons why they have been so successful. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy coming to you again live from Bangkok, Thailand. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a few pictures of some of my travels around the area. But plan A, what is plan A? Plan A is what we do, we drive, right? We drive, we make money, we put food on the table, we pay the bills, that's our main gig. Plan B comes after plan A. Plan B is what do you really want to be doing? What is going to feed your heart, your soul? What is going to give you energy to get up in the morning excited and, and focused? That's the plan B. And in this video, we're going to look at three uh, inspiring rideshare drivers that I've come across. And we're going to jump right in right now. Number one, Fernando builds an Airbnb in Brazil. So get this. I'm, uh, I go to my favorite uh, Starbucks in the morning at 4.45 to get my vanilla sweet cream cold brew, right? That's my routine, and then I go out at 5 o'clock, I hit it, and I start driving. And this guy comes up to me and goes, you're Jay, aren't you? And I said, yeah, <laughs> who are you? He goes, well, my name is Fernando, and I've seen a lot of your videos, man, and he was really positive. And I said, great, great, I would love to uh, have you on my podcast. And uh, Talk, talk to you about your experience as a driver because he shared some really interesting stuff with me. And that pod podcast is going to be coming out in a few weeks. But since then, he's told me that um, he's driven for Uber, for Lyft, for Zoom. And during the last five years, he's been working really hard on his plan B, which is to uh, build some uh, uh, apartments, which he's using as an Airbnb. And he's launching his first six are going to be done in July. And this is in Brazil, in Brazil so we can get back home and, uh, and, and make money doing something he really loves to do. Super inspiring guy, way to go Fernando. Number two, Nathan builds a notary signing business. So I first met Nathan about a year ago. Uh, we did an, uh, uh, an article about him and getting a ticket for his, his rideshare vehicle having advertising on it. And then he started to tell me about this notary signing uh, gig that he was doing. And what caught me was when he said he had six or seven signings on one Friday and he made over a thousand dollars. I thought, wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, so now he's doing it full time, but not as he's stopping there. No, no, no. Nathan, he's a very aggressive young man. He's going out there and he's building his own company now. And he's already got five agents working with him. So he gets all the business and then he can farm those out to other people. So he's doing fantastic. And uh, I'm going to have him on a podcast also coming up in the next week or two. So stick around for that. Number three is Jeremy. Jeremy went from uh, Florida to San Francisco to five signings a day. Pretty incredible. Remarkable young man. He was in the military and the special forces. And um, he came from Florida to San Francisco because he had seen a lot of uh, the Rideshare Guy videos. And uh, I coached him. And he started driving. He was making like two to two and a half thousand dollars a week. Then I told him about Nathan and he started to get uh, excited about that. So long story short, he signed up, he got trained. He is now uh, doing some of Nathan's uh, signings and he's also doing a lot of his own. And just yesterday he told me he's doing four to five uh, in a day. So pretty incredible. And now his next project is to put together a coaching program um, on the internet. He's working on that. So wow, these guys, pretty incredible. Okay, so what can we learn from these stories? Well, that'll be number four, which I'm going to say is they all started with a very specific plan. So we can look at Jeremy. He knew he wanted to come to San Francisco, but he didn't just come here. He uh, contacted me, uh, an expert in driving in the market, and he uh, had a coaching session with me. And then he, when he got here, he met with me and he asked me questions all the time. And he, he had a plan. If we look at Nathan, Nathan knew he wanted to build a company. But first, he had to become really good at doing the signings. So he did that first. Once he got that, then he started to have too much business. Then he created his company. And then he uh, encouraged other um, agents to contact him. And now he's building his company. Pretty amazing. Fernando, obviously, takes a lot of work to put together a building of a, you know, a structure that's going to be an Airbnb, a six-unit structure. 
and uh, he's been at it for a long time because that's a big project. But you know, he knew exactly what he had to do. He knew what the goal was, and then he reverse engineered it. So start with a very specific plan. So the fifth and final thing I'm going to say is that all of these guys had an incredible desire, desire to achieve their plan B, right? I've coached a lot of people, 5,000 actually, um, in the field of internet marketing and, and personal development. And it's pretty common that people feel very comfortable and they do not like to step out of their comfort zone. So one way to get out of your comfort zone is to have a dream so big, right, that it's so exciting to you that you just, okay, I'm gonna be uncomfortable, I'm gonna go for it because I have such a desire to achieve the thing I want to achieve. I told you I'd share some pictures with you. So what you're seeing now is some pictures of me here in Thailand living out my plan B, which is being able to work, to write articles, to make videos, to coach, um, and do it from wherever I am. In this case, I'm now traveling in, in Thailand. So this is my plan B coming into fruition. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, the key takeaways are that rideshare driving is not a permanent gig and you need to get, get to work on your plan B. Uh, here at the Rideshare Guy, we really wanna support people to uh, start working on their plan B. We have a, a category um, on our website, which is called Life After Rideshare. And you'll see some detailed stories about different drivers who are going out there and creating their own plan B. We'll put the link to that um, underneath this video. So you got a dream, you got to think big. They say, they say, if your dreams don't scare you, you're not thinking big enough. So that's the invitation here. Think big, right? Think big, think what you really, really, really want, because most of us can go out and accomplish it once we push, back, push past our comfort zone. And uh, that's really where the magic happens. So this is Jay Crater saying thank you so much for watching and um, sign up for our, our, our channel here. Uh, give this a like, that really helps the algorithm so more drivers can see these videos. And I wish you all to go out and have a great day and uh, be safe out there.